In the shadowed halls of global diplomacy, the United States' decision to impose sanctions on China's semiconductor industry was not just a maneuver. It was a declaration of tech supremacy. The sanctions, aimed at curbing China's access to advanced chip technologies, were rooted in concerns over national security. Officials cited fears that semiconductors could enhance China's military capabilities and cyber infrastructure. According to a statement by Gina Raimondo, U.S. Secretary of Commerce, restricting China's access to these critical technologies is essential to protecting U.S. national security interests. The stakes are clear. Semiconductors are the foundation of everything from smartphones to AI systems. Limiting China's ability to source advanced chips directly impacts its technological growth, or so the United States believed. But in trying to slow one rival, the sanctions inadvertently ignited a global tech rivalry of unprecedented scale. China's immediate countermeasures set the stage for a battle that transcends borders, fueling geopolitical tension and altering global supply chains. In 2021, China imported $432 billion worth of semiconductors, a figure that underscored its heavy dependence on foreign suppliers. Yet, by the end of 2023, that number had plummeted to approximately $230 billion. This staggering $200 billion drop signals more than a decline in trade. It's a dramatic pivot towards self-reliance. State-driven initiatives like Made in China 2025 have funneled billions into domestic semiconductor manufacturing. Companies such as SMIC or Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation are at the forefront, ramping up production to reduce dependency on Western technologies. A recent report from the Financial Times highlighted that China's chip self-sufficiency rate increased significantly reflecting a strategic shift in reducing dependency on foreign suppliers and bolstering its domestic semiconductor industry. This rapid progress highlights a turning point. But what does it mean for industries reliant on Western suppliers? But what does this mean for global trade? Is China's ambition reshaping the industry or simply isolating it? Stick around and we'll uncover the consequences for U.S. companies. Please like and subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Your support helps us grow. Thank you. If you thought Huawei's fall from grace after U.S. sanctions was the end of its story, think again. In 2023, Huawei unveiled its Mate 60 Pro smartphone, powered by a domestically produced 7 nanometer Kirin chip. This achievement stunned industry experts who doubted China's ability to advance so quickly under sanctions. Huawei's 5G base stations, built entirely with Chinese-made components, further cement its resilience. Breaking down these innovations reveals how sanctions, once a barrier, became a catalyst for progress. Similarly, Huawei's 5G base stations, built entirely with Chinese-made components, have become the backbone of the country's digital infrastructure. Industry analyst Dan Hutchison from Tech Insights remarked, This is a clear signal that China's tech resilience is far stronger than anticipated. These milestones are more than technological feats. They're declarations of independence. Consumers are already feeling the effects through lower costs of 5G-enabled devices in China and improved access to cutting-edge technology. While global markets grapple with increasing competition from affordable alternatives, what will this mean for innovation on a global scale? The rise of Chinese made processors like the Lungjin series is sending ripples through critical industries, from AI to aerospace. These chips, now embedded in supercomputing platforms and defense systems, are challenging the assumption that only Western technologies can dominate advanced fields. A Reuters report from October 2023 detailed how Chinese firms are leveraging domestic chips to power industrial robotics and autonomous vehicles, two sectors the U.S. has traditionally dominated. The production of 7 nanometer semiconductors by SMIC has similarly disrupted markets, allowing China to sidestep export bans while innovating in areas like quantum computing. 
But will these advancements improve global accessibility? Or are they further entrenching competition between tech giants? Intel's Q3 2023 earnings revealed a sharp decline in revenue, with sales to China dropping by 27% compared to the previous year. Similarly, Texas Instruments, a major supplier of analog chips, reported a $2.3 billion shortfall, attributing much of it to reduced demand from Chinese clients. The ripple effects of this downturn are hitting not just these companies, but the broader tech ecosystem. As Chinese firms ramp up domestic production, U.S. companies lose a critical revenue stream that once accounted for up to 30% of their annual sales. This dynamic raises an uncomfortable truth. Are sanctions backfiring economically for the U.S.? In 2020, China's share of global semiconductor manufacturing was 15%. By 2023, that figure had nearly doubled, reaching 30%. The growth stems from heavy government subsidies and strategic partnerships with allied nations. According to a 2023 report from the Wall Street Journal, Chinese chip makers have built more than 50 new fabs, fabrication facilities, in the past two years. This expansion not only diversifies global production, but also creates competition for established players like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. How does this rapid expansion influence product pricing for everyday consumers? And are these changes felt in markets beyond tech? The U.S. sanctions created an unexpected casualty. South Korea's chip industry, companies like Samsung and SK Hynix, which rely heavily on exports to China, now face reduced market access. Meanwhile, China's advancements in DRAM and NAND technologies are closing the quality gap. Samsung's semiconductor division reported a 12% drop in revenue in the third quarter of 2023, while SK Hynix experienced its largest profit loss since 2017. According to a report by Bloomberg, both companies are scrambling to adapt to a market where Chinese competitors are increasingly self-reliant. But will South Korea's legacy of innovation help it reclaim its edge, or is this a permanent shift? China's impact extends beyond hardware. Its domestically developed chips now power data centers, telecommunications networks, and AI platforms nationwide. Companies like Alibaba and Tencent are replacing imported processors with homegrown alternatives. In 2023, Nikkei Asia reported that over 60% of China's cloud computing infrastructure now runs on Chinese-made chips. This transformation reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and bolsters the resilience of critical infrastructure. For consumers, this shift has already impacted the market. The cost of electronics in China has stabilized, and devices powered by domestic chips are becoming more accessible, reflecting increased availability. Meanwhile, global markets are experiencing ripple effects, with potential shortages or price hikes in regions dependent on imports from China. Yet, can such rapid growth sustain itself without compromising quality? SMIC and Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, have emerged as key players reshaping the global semiconductor market. SMIC's ability to produce advanced nodes, such as 7 nanometer chips, is a direct response to US export controls. Meanwhile, YMTC's 232-layer NAND flash memory is redefining the capabilities of consumer electronics. According to an analysis by The Economist, these companies are not merely catching up, but setting benchmarks in performance and efficiency. Their rise challenges traditional powerhouses like Intel and TSMC, shifting the balance of influence. Sanctions were designed to throttle China's tech advancements. Instead, they have done the opposite. However, the U.S. has begun exploring counter-strategies, fostering domestic innovation through subsidies, strengthening alliances with key nations like South Korea, and encouraging private sector R&D to retain a competitive edge. Will these measures be enough to regain technological dominance? The restrictions force China to invest in R&D at unprecedented levels, with government spending on semiconductor research exceeding $20 billion in 2023 alone. 
A report by MIT Technology Review noted that sanctions created a survival mindset among Chinese tech firms, pushing them to innovate faster than anticipated. This resilience raises a critical question. Have U.S. policies inadvertently given China the tools to outpace its rivals? China's status as the world's largest chip purchaser gives it unparalleled influence over supply chains. In 2023, Chinese companies accounted for 38% of global chip demand. This dominance forced suppliers to adapt or face significant revenue losses. Even as U.S. export bans target Chinese firms, global suppliers like ASML and Applied Materials struggle to balance compliance with economic interests. What happens when China wields its purchasing power to rewrite the rules of global trade? China's ability to mass-produce 232-layer NAND flash memory marks a turning point in memory technology. This achievement, led by YMTC, positions China as a leader in high-capacity storage solutions, essential for data-driven industries. With competitors like Micron and Western Digital trailing behind, the implications are profound. Could this advancement shift the epicenter of memory innovation from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen? The semiconductor self-sufficiency China has achieved is altering global power dynamics. By securing critical tech independence, China not only reduces its vulnerability to sanctions, but also strengthens its bargaining position in international relations. Experts like Chris Miller, author of Chip War, argue that China's progress in semiconductors is a geopolitical game-changer. Could this be the beginning of a new era where tech power reshapes alliances and economic strategies? And if so, what challenges might both China and the U.S. face as this battle escalates? But how sustainable is this newfound independence, and what challenges lie ahead? The U.S.-China chip conflict serves as a cautionary tale about the unintended consequences of weaponizing technology. While sanctions aimed to cripple China's tech sector, they catalyzed innovation and intensified global fragmentation. As the world becomes increasingly polarized, the risks of over-reliance on technological dominance become clear. What does this mean for future conflicts? And can nations strike a balance between competition and cooperation in the digital age? The U.S.-China chip war is not just a tale of rivalry. It's a case study in the unpredictable outcomes of geopolitics. To avoid further fragmentation, multilateral cooperation in innovation and trade policies may be necessary. International tech alliances could stabilize markets while fostering shared growth. But will these efforts materialize, or will competitive dynamics continue to escalate unchecked? As China rises from the ashes of sanctions to emerge as a tech powerhouse, the global semiconductor landscape will never be the same. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.